welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys a tour of my gym all the equipment that I got where I got them from and you know in case you need any help building your home gym you can set an example stay tuned all right let's get started welcome back to my channel so if you want to get your garage gym first things first is you got to get your floor straight uh, you want to have something that looks nice you know that you will a place where you would like to be in and for your squat area for your squat and deadlift area you definitely want to have something grippy uh something like this rubber mats that i got here i have i bought this bo um both of these floors uh, material from lowe's i'm gonna put it everything on the corner to the left side that way you can you guys can uh check them out all right this next one is gonna be uh the squat machine i got this squat machine from like overstock.com i'm an ivp pro men's physique by the way what that means is that i'm an uh ivp just means international federation for bodybuilding which means that i get on stage and i do a bodybuilding competition here's a portrait that was painted for me from one of my uh first nationals before i became a pro so anyway back to the squat machine uh this squat is this machine is supposed to be able to hold uh about 800 pounds uh my squat max is about 620 so trust me you can definitely uh use this machine as long as you know your your squat is not over 800 which <laughs> if you can squat 800 then uh, i don't know what to tell you but congrats uh, I, I appreciate you watching this video but anyway you can squat on the outside you can squat on the inside uh, it's very versatile as you can see I got a hook at the top which allows me to put some attachment to it and uh, do like you know all kinds of stuff so it, this is the uh, J this is like the circular hook It's supposed to be like a J hook and you can move it up and down to the level that you want uh, want your squat to be at uh, the next thing I got is this yellow uh, cable cro yellow thing over here. It's not meant to go on this squat machine specifically, but I made it work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can do so much with this. Uh, it's basically like a like a crossover machine where you can do chest, you can do tricep pull downs, you can do bicep curls. Uh, it swivels, so it's not just stuck in one place. It can go up and down. And you can have it exactly the way you want it to be that way you know you're not stuck doing the same thing over and over but it's a very versatile equipment these two alone the machine uh, this cable crossover and the square machine alone is definitely worth it if you have like a garage gym that you're trying to build up the next thing here is the pulley I have this pulley attachment to the squat bar that way I'm able to do things like uh, lap pull down, single arm pull down, triceps push downs, a whole bunch of different things that you might need a pulley for. There's another attachment that goes into onto it. The next thing is uh, the AC unit. Uh, I, I have a detached garage so the temperature, the climate is pretty important to me. In the winter time, uh, it gets super cold and it, in the summertime it gets super hot. So ever since I got this uh, mini split AC, it's helped out a lot. The next one is, is the bench. I bought this bench on overstock.com. I forget how much I paid for it, but it's a pretty cheap bench. I mean, I've benched uh over four over 300 and something on this bench but i hate those kind of benches that fold so i ended up making mine i went to lowe's i bought some wood i bought some stuff and i end up making this bench it's perfect i've benched over 405 on this thing it's solid it feels good it does not wiggle at all it is very very solid so i love it the fact that i made a bench just for me and you can easily do that yourself this next one is the uh, fitness gear uh, weight plates. I got them from Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, they are they came in as a combo. Uh, as a combo, I forgot how, exactly how much I paid for them, but it comes with this bar. It is like a total of 315 pound weight, and it comes with this bar. And I just buying a few sets of those Sporting Goods. This plates right here, I got from a friend. Um, so you know I'm definitely gonna be buying some new ones eventually but weight plates are very very expensive 
uh, this red fitness here uh, bumper plates bumper plates are even more expensive but you definitely need bumper plates if you're gonna be deadlifting a lot especially in a home garage gym where you only have a, uh, you know a concrete or you just don't want to mess up your floors you need bumper plates or if you're gonna be doing power cleans and things like that you need bumper plates like you gotta have a set at least that's some rack uh, hooks that allows me to put some weight you know on the side of the, uh, the squat this next one is a dumbbell rack that I made from scratch as you can see it's wooden because obviously I made it I put some dumbbells on it uh, these dumbbells right here I got them from Walmart like six years ago I don't remember um, how much I paid for them and these other dumbbells I got from the same person who I got a place from dumbbells are literally some of the most expensive gym equipment you could buy for a home gym dumbbells are very very expensive I wish I could buy like 150s 160s because I know I can lift those um, but you know those are the most I can find and the smaller ones I bought from uh, offer up uh, I bought them brand new too because some guy bought them during quarantine he bought them just so he can you know sell them for more expensive price which is you know not fair but it is what it is I have this next one right here is a t-bar row you know it's not meant to go on this but I sort of made it work it's a t-bar row that allows me to uh, attach a bar to it and do all kinds of stuff it swivels side to side up and down I love this squat machine man I love the I love what I made here you know I just made everything work that's what you got to do um, I got my favorite thing here the rope bar this is a legit rope bar I got that as a gift from my girlfriend so uh, that, that was great you know that was great and then this next one I got from Amazon it's supposed to be a kettlebell grip you just put kettlebells and you put dump regular dumbbells in it and it allows you to turn into a kettlebell it's great you gotta get them and then you know tricep extensions squat uh, knee wraps squat belts and all kinds of uh, stuff this next equipment is the body solid this is actually the very first equipment that I bought uh, when I started my garage gym uh, with this thing right here it has a leg press attachment to it so you can actually do leg press now some of you might think oh that's not a lot of weight but trust me the way they made it it feels so heavy and besides you can put a plate on it uh, on the other side and make it even harder it's got leg extension on uh, things and it's got hooks so that way you can do uh, rows or you can do curls or you can do all kinds of stuff pulling from that attachment over there and then the seats goes up and down the back moves forward and backwards and it tilts uh, it just there's so much it can do and then it's got um what else it's got it has a little attachment in the middle that way you can do abs uh, I don't really do abs much on over there I use it for the tricep extensions and it also has this bar thing on the side that allows you to move it up and down that way you can do back rows you can do shoulder presses or chest press and then it's got a lat attachment this is where I do you know my lats so once again power line bodies by body solid I forgot how much I paid for this too but I can put that in the, uh, on the screen this next one is for leg extension I had to modify it but you can do leg extensions and leg curls on it I bought it from Amazon uh, I modified it so I can do single legs uh, I have another machine over there where I can do you know double leg extensions and double leg curls but this one specifically is so I can do single leg exercises I have a skill in the garage gym not necessarily for me specifically but for people that train with me as you can see it's not just on the carpet I have a uh, thing cut out that way the scale is, is more accurate it's laying on the actual floor not on the carpet this next one this one is uh is the rogue uh deadlift uh thing i forgot what it's called it's, it's for but it's for deadlifting when you start deadlifting a lot trust me little things like that are gonna matter my garage door is insulated with a foam that i bought on amazon it's about eighty dollars you buy a set of them and you keep your garage door insulated that way your gym is colder uh and it stays a little more warm in the winter time 
this next treadmill I actually bought this from someone who I went to college with uh, he bought it but I guess he was moving or something and he didn't have a need for it anymore so I just bought it for him and it's a very good treadmill it, uh, it has incline and decline um, it has an app that you can actually control the entire treadmill from the app and you can sync all your workouts it's got coaching it's got all kinds of stuff on it love it I don't really use treadmill as much to be honest uh, this TV you gotta have a TV man if you're doing a cardio if you're doing cardio for like 10 20 minutes 30 minutes it's nice to have something to watch you know instead of just standing there gazing at nothing or tilting your head down to watch uh, your phone I feel like TV is just one of those things you should have in your home in your home garage gym you don't need to have it but you should have it for cardio days not for lifting but for cardio days and to be honest sometimes I turn this TV on and I go to YouTube for motivation when I'm doing chest here are some of the medals that I did from you know previous competition this was 2017 uh, bodybuilding this was 2013 strongman competition uh, this one was uh, 2018 team universe that was actually where I won my pro card for men's physique the mirrors mirrors I got from Lowe's as well you gotta have fans so that ball right there I got it from Amazon I forgot how much I paid for it and the battle ropes I also got from Amazon you gotta have battle ropes for cardio you know for hit and things like that this next one is a is a fitness bike you know I bought this uh, I don't remember where I got this fitness bike from where I bought it from but fitness bikes if you're gonna get a good one this is a good one it's got Bluetooth it's got, it's got a um, fan in it it's got all kinds of stuff in it and this I think this fitness bike was like 300 and something dollars it may be a little more than that I don't remember exactly and then on to my favorite equipment in this gym it's called the Marky Pro something Marky Pro there is so much you can do on this single equipment you can squat you can do bench you can do flats decline incline bench it's got attachment that goes onto it allows you to do bicep curls uh, which is preacher curls it's got leg attachments that allows you to do leg curls and leg extensions there's just so much you can do on this single equipment if you can if I can recommend one equipment I think it will be this one you know besides having a squat rack or I think it will be that one because there's so much you can do lighting is also something else that's kind of important lighting sets a mood you know the brighter a gym is I feel like the more motivated I am the more up my mood is and sound system sound system is also uh, it's also a good thing that you gotta have you know what I'm saying if you're in your home garage gym you don't need no headphones you want your music blasting this thing has got so many speakers yeah, I bought this on Amazon it's got how many speakers one over there two over there three four and five it's got five speakers this thing has five speakers so it creates a real surround system in this uh, garage gym so overall this has been a tour of my gym if you have any questions just let me know 